What's going on you guys? So I just wanted to do somewhat of an experiment today. Uh, I've seen a lot of people online, specifically on YouTube, uh, around this time of year when hunting season's starting to kind of kick in and people are getting on their ATVs, you know, their four-wheelers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's been kind of a rumor going around, or not really a rumor, but more of an instructional video going around about using a soda can as a muffler for either your ATV or even for your car in some cases. Now, obviously, I can't really condone doing this in any way, but I did want to make a video just kind of testing this theory out and seeing if it does in fact work. Now, like I said, I can't recommend that you guys ever do this or ever put this on anything you actually depend on. If your ATV is what you depend on to go out hunting and actually make it home, do not do this. If your car is something you depend on to go out and make it home, do not do this. But Today, if you do have something that you know you just kind of want to play around with and you know just just kind of mess with, beat around a bit, I want to make a kind of an instructional video on how to do this and mostly to decide if this actually works because there's been a lot of skepticism and I'd like to put that to rest once and for all to see if this does actually work. So pretty much all you need is a pack of steel wool. What I decided to go with was the finest grade available, which is super fine, quadruple zero. Uh, just a basic Coke can, this is just Walmart Cola. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this Coke can, you're gonna cut the top off of it, rinse it out very thoroughly and be sure to dry it. If you don't dry it, you risk rusting this steel wool. And if this does happen to work, you're gonna be replacing that wool pretty frequently if, you, if, it, if it starts to rust. So you take your can, you either drink the soda, pour it out, rinse it out with water, and just get you, you know, really an X-Acto or just a knife that you don't really care about. Cut the top off of the can. You wanna keep the bottom intact. Only cut off the top. And then you take your steel wool, you're gonna unwind it, wearing gloves, obviously, you're gonna get all cut up. And then you're gonna gently kinda of stuff it into the can and then kinda of compress it just a bit, not too much, but get it all kinda of round up, stuff it in the can and just gently compress it. And what you're gonna be left with is something that looks something like this. Now. As you can see, I didn't fill the can all the way. I don't think I want to just yet. I want to see if this makes any sort of a difference first. But once you made it this far, the last step is to take the bottom of your can and you're gonna just drill some holes in it. This is where you kind of get to make your own artistic decision more or less. Uh, you can drill a few big holes, a ton of tiny holes. That's completely up to you. I'm probably gonna drill you know, five, six, seven larger holes in this. Really all you need to do is just make sure that the steel wool doesn't have a way to escape through this end. So I'm gonna go drill some holes in this and be right back. All right, so here is our finished product. Basically all I did was just take the wool back out. Like I said, drill holes in the bottom here. And what I also decided to do was drill some flaps along the top of the can here. You may or may not need to actually do that. It really just depends on what you're using this for. Uh, what I'm going to be using today is a 1992 Yamaha Moto4 uh, 350cc version. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out, I'm going to film the four-wheeler just as it is with its stock exhaust. Uh, no changes since 1992, so you can imagine this thing's pretty loud, pretty worn out. Uh, but I'm going to show you the stock exhaust, then I'm going to immediately cut over to the soda can exhaust. And let you guys decide if you like it or not, if it worked or not. Uh, but yeah, let's go take a listen and we'll be right back. Uh, in person, the bike is considerably louder than I would like. Uh, just with the stock exhaust. But like I said, as you can see from the video, as soon as I wedged this can in there, which kind of obviously got pretty crumpled up, the sound did get, you know, quite a bit better. It wasn't too bad at all. Uh, but the main issue with this is that the amount of pressure an engine like this puts out is far too much for this can to handle. And what happened was I took the ATV just around the neighborhood for a little bit just to see you know, how it performed. And right off the bat, I noticed it had, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but it lost quite a bit of power pretty instantly. It was also a little bit difficult to start. And as soon as I really stepped on it, this can just shot right out the exhaust. It did not stay put even remotely. 
So what I decided to do was take some of the steel wool and just stuff it into the tip of the exhaust pretty tightly and had the same result. Loss of power uh, and, and it just launched right out as soon as I really, you know, put some, put some acceleration to it. Also, you could see in the video there was a ton of smoke. I did just want to be fair and say that that smoke was just the coating burning off of the steel wool. You can see, you know, now the wool looks kind of burnt, whereas when we put it in there initially, it was pretty bright and shiny. But I think this test speaks for itself. You know, does the steel wool work to quiet down a noisy exhaust? Yeah, but does it actually last and will it work long term? Absolutely not. As soon as you put any sort of pressure on these cans, they're just going to launch out unless you have, you know, some idea as to how to fashion these in there permanently. Um, maybe one idea would be to put this over the tip of the exhaust and put an exhaust clamp on it. But still, even then, the wool is just so compacted. Um, you, you know, you're, you're just going to lose too much power for it to really be worthwhile. You could put less wool in here. That may help a little bit but you're also gonna be sacrificing your sound and really, I, I just don't see you getting really much of a benefit out of this, but it was worth a try. It was pretty interesting. It's a cheap little project to give, you know, just give a go. But that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helped you out.